Um, hello, I'm Felipe Tovar. Uh, this is joint work with Tang Boy and Richard Turner. Uh, we, are, we are presenting a generative model for time series consisting uh, of the convolution between a white noise process and a continuous time linear filter. Um, this model is, is well known and it's been around um, because it arises in many branches of science and engineering. And the reason is so, is, is this model is so flexible um, is because once we condition on the filter, or once we fix this filter arbitrarily, the resulting signal, FT, this, um, this function here, becomes a Gaussian process with an ar arbitrarily defined uh, covariance function, which is here. So our contribution is to place a Gaussian process prior on this filter, which in turn induces a non-parametric distribution over the covariance function of the, of the resulting ga Gaussian process. Um, this sounds great, but as we all know, uh, great models come with a great uh, inference uh, intractabilities. And in our case, uh, there are three main challenges. Um, inference in our setting means finding the, the processes uh, H and X. And the first problem is that X is a white noise process, so it only behaves well, well inside the integral. The second intractability comes from the fact that H and X are multiplying one another. Uh, and the third one uh, comes from the non-parametric structure of these processes. Uh, we're going to overcome this, um, uh, these challenges by using an approximate variational inference setting, where we're going to find the approximate posterior of a finite set of variables that encapsulate the dynamic of these uh, of these two processes, H and, e and, and X, in an alternative domain where they behave behave well. Um, conditional on this finite set of samples, we are able to approximate the posterior over the kernel of the, of the signal and uh, the, power spe um, the spectral density. Um, we can see uh, very briefly some results um, the, that we, uh, we produce with our, with our model that we call the Gaussian process convolution model. Uh, the, first top, uh, the, fir uh, the, the top two plots um, show a true spectral mixture kernel um, where our model was able to recover the, um, the, uh, the, the, the kernel with, uh, with uncertainty bars. And the bottom two boxes show a, a spectral estimation for real, real world uh, data where we used um, unevenly sampled data. The take home message is that the Gaussian process convolution model is a prior over models for time series, not directly on time series. And we have uh, many more results and things to discuss. Please uh, visit us in our poster uh, later today or in the time series workshop on Saturday. Thank you very much.